I said from 1921 to 1931 that uh, Rolls-Royce had a plant in Springfield, Massachusetts. So it's an American body, I mean it's American frame and American body. Brewster was their uh, coach builder in New York. So it was just interesting to me to have that car. And then while we were restoring it, we started to embellish things a bit. So I decided that the spokes looked a little frumpy, so we needed discs. And then I decided one afternoon that the hood enclosure looked really frumpy because it was just blue. So we ended up buying a four-way sheet of uh, stainless and having it polished, and we redid the hood enclosure. So we've kind of customized the car a little bit, but it's all correct. You could have bought this car in 1925. So you stopped short of the Pioneer in-dash CD changer, thankfully, but uh, you've got these other touches. And interesting point about Rolls-Royce built cars in Springfield, Massachusetts. Ford built Model Ts and I believe in Model As in Europe. So this whole thing about car plants being in other places is not really a new thing. No, it wasn't. And the, and the bottom line here was that Rolls-Royce realized that it was getting its clock cleaned by Lincoln, Cadillac, and Packard because they were able to sell cars bodied off the showroom floor. So that by building the uh, cars in Springfield, they reduced the shipping time, and by buying Brewster and having them pre-bodied, they were as competitive as their American competitors. Well, very good. It's a stunning car, and we'll, we'll want to give a little plug to the San Marino Motor Classic since you're uh, wearing the shirt. Uh, Aaron is one of the uh, people who got going and got the San Marino Motor Classic. You've been doing it three years. I assume there'll be one next year? Yes, there will be on June 8th. Everybody, attention, please.